What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Objective-C programming. Now in this class, I'm going to talk about classes, objects, and methods. Now what are classes, objects, and methods? Now in programming, especially objected-oriented programming like Objective-C, uh, classes, methods, and objects are like the backbone. They are the fundamentals of the program. Now what is an object? Basically an object is anything. I am an object. And uh, each object can be classified. And um, I can be classified as a human, right? I'm an object, but I can be classified as a human. So a human would be a class, right? Me being a human, I can do certain things. I can walk, I can talk, I can sneeze. Uh, these are methods. Objects that can do things are methods, right? Now, objects can also be classified, which is called classes. And me being a human, that's my class. And me being a human, I can do certain things. That's a method. Now in this class, I'm going to cover the interface, right? And I'm going to show you how to create a class and how to set the different methods. So how do we create a class? The first thing we're going to need to do is type in at. And we're going to type in interface, I-N-T-E-R-F-A-C-E, -E, right? We're going to hit space. Now we got to give our interface, our, actually our class a name, right? And I'm going to, and I'm going to say car, C-A-R. Car is a class, right? Now, uh, we, we also have to type in uh, colon, space. Then we got to type in this, N, S, O. So it's capital N, capital S, capital O. Then we got to type in lowercase b, J, E, C, T, N, S, O, object. And then we got to type in, we're going to type in this open curly brace. Then we're going to hit enter. It's automatically going to add the closing curly brace. If it doesn't automatically add a closing curly brace, you have to add one ourselves. Now, in between this open and closed curly brace here, we got to add a few things. We're going to type in like the blueprints of this object. So now we're going to add the blueprints. What do all cars share? Uh, all cars have uh, miles, right? The specific miles. And uh, so I'm going to type in INT because I want an integer. For, for miles, I'm gonna hit space. Then I'm gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna type in miles, M-I-L-E-S, right? We're gonna hit space. I'm sorry, we're gonna end this with a semicolon here. Now, what other characteristics does a car have? Cars have uh, top speed, right? Or So we could say INT because I want another integer. And I could say uh, top speed, right? So we're gonna say, so we're gonna say top speed, right? And end it with a semicolon. So now we have two different characteristics of a car. We have miles, how many miles a car has, and the top speed of the car. And both of these are going to be integers. Now uh, let us click outside this closing curly brace here. Now we're going to add some methods, right? We're going to create some methods. We're going to create some certain things that the, the car can do, right? So to do that, we're going to type in this uh, minus symbol, open and close parentheses, right? In between this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in void, O-I-D, because we don't want any return value. So that after we type in void, we're going to hit space, right? And we got to give our method a name. The first method I'm going to type in is print, because I want I want to print out onto the screen. Um, I wanted to say, uh, my car has blank miles, and it has a top speed of blank. So, and this first method is going to print that. So... We're going to hit enter again. We're going to add another method, right? We don't need to create any uh, integers or transfer any values of integers to print because print is just going to print our results. So now we're going to create another method. To do that, we're going to type in minus symbol again. Open and close parentheses, right? Inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in void again because we don't need any return value. And we're going to, we're going to hit space. Now we've got to give our method a name. Now let's call our first method uh, set. Then we're going to type in capital M, uh, miles, right? Because we, we want to get the set miles, the miles of the car. Then uh, we got to add this colon, right? Not semicolon, colon. Then we're going to hit space. We're going to use another set of open and close parentheses, right? Inside this open and close parentheses, we, we're going to specify what data type we want. We want the integer data type again, right? And outside of this open and close parentheses, we're going to hit space, and we're going to give it a variable name. Let's call my variable m, right, for miles, and uh, end it with a semicolon. Now we're going to add one more method. We're going to uh, use this minus symbol here, open and close parentheses, right? Inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in void because we don't need any return value, V-O-I-D. 
Again, outside the open and close parentheses, we're gonna hit space, we're gonna give this method a name, and now we need top speed, right? So we're gonna type in set top speed, right? So we named our method set top speed. And then let's make capital S here, just because so, it looks better, and it's good programming practice to do that. Now uh, we're gonna add a colon, not a semicolon after at this set top speed. We're gonna hit space. Inside instead of this open and close parentheses, we're gonna type in our data type we want again, which is an integer. Outside this open and close parentheses, we're gonna hit space and we gotta give our variable a name. Since it's top speed, I'll call mine S for speed. All right, so now we created two variables here. M is for miles per hour and S is for speed, right? And we don't need any return values. That's why we added void here. So print is a method is just going to print we don't need to uh, to uh, pass any uh, integer value through it uh, void here because we're not going to get any return value this is set miles we want uh, the set miles for a specific car right so then we hit colon we need it to be an integer data type right we have that in a set of uh, parentheses outside the set of parentheses we have to give it a variable named and uh, we, we ended away semicolon, I call this one M. Underneath that, we didn't need any return value, so that's why we have this void here. And uh, we hit space, we gave our method a name, we called it set top speed. We, we added a colon, hit space, we needed a, a data type, we used a, a set of open and closed parentheses. Inside the set of open and closed parentheses, we gave it a, a data type of integer, because we need an integer data type to return. We hit, outside the open and close parentheses, we hit space, then we got to give it a variable name. I called mine S for, for you know, top speed, and uh, ended it with a semicolon, right? So now we got to end this. To end this, we're going to hit enter, and we're going to type in at end. So now we're finished with our interface part, again, from the top. To create a class, we have to type in at interface, hit space, give our class a name. We named our class car. We hit space, we use this colon symbol we had space we use this nso uh, ns object capital n capital s capital o lowercase b lowercase j lowercase e lowercase c and lowercase t right uh, i'm going to talk more about this in another tutorial but uh, we have to know that that has to be there right we hit space we use this open curly brace we hit enter and it automatically going to add this closing curly brace right now in between this open and close curly brace we got to give our class some sort of like blue blueprints what do what do cars share what do what, what are the characteristics of cars right cars have a specific miles per hour right I'm sorry cars have specific miles on them and uh, cars have a specific top speed right and uh, we named named the miles and we named top speed top speed and they're both integer data types and outside this open and close uh, curly brace we have to add some methods methods are like actions things you do right and uh, Objects can do certain things, right? Like cars can do certain things. Our first methods we named is print because we wanted to print out uh, my car has blank miles and has a blank top speed. And uh, the second one here is, and we used a void because we didn't want any return value. Our second one here has no return value. That's why we used void. We named our method set miles, right? We use this colon symbol, we hit space, and we use open and close parentheses. In between the open and close parentheses, we gave it a integer data type because we need a data type and we need it to be integer, right? And outside the open and close parentheses, we hit space and we gave it a variable name we wanted to pass through. And our variable name is M and it's ended with a semicolon. Now our third and final method here, uh, we use the void here because we don't want any return value. We hit space and we gave it a method name. We called it set top speed. And right, we ended it with a colon because we, we need to give it a, uh, a a variable to pass through, right? Right here, I deleted the S. So hit space here, type in S, and end it with a semicolon because this is the variable name. I deleted it by mistake, but our last one here, we used the void, and uh, we named it top speed, and we needed to, it to have an integer data type, and we named it S, basically. So the values are going to pass through these two variables here that we're gonna need later on, and we've finally created an uh, interface. Our next two classes are gonna cover the other two stuff, the other two parts of uh, methods, classes, and objects. All right, guys, up here, I said space, colon, space. It shouldn't be a space after cars here. The colon should be right next to cars, so cars, colon, then space, then NS objects. Sorry about that.
Stay tuned to part two of methods, classes, and objects where I cover the second part. And uh, again, if you like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and thanks for watching.